Oh, I guess. Because it's ending, like, pretty much ending soon, like, isn't sure. it? Sure, like, yeah, they've pushed onto the war now, haven't yeah. they? We're going to get sent off to, like, Ukraine, Ukraine. soon anyway, it doesn't really matter, Ah, oh, how about the ghost of Kiev? That's fucking sick. Uh, yeah, apparently it's propaganda, but if it, I'm on the slim chance that it isn't. Yeah, there was I'm, a video there, wasn't there, online? I haven't seen it. Was, it. it was just some, like, fighter jet, like, shooting the fighter jet down. It looked sick. It looked badass. It's fucked up, but it's a thing, but also sick. Yeah. You've got to appreciate it, that we're living was in college. It, was it, like, six people? Oh, yeah, apparently he took down six jets. Did you see as well, like, uh, Vitaly Klitschko, he was, like, an interview on, like, Sky News, mm-hmm. and, he, and he was like, yeah... We like I like killed like five people last night. Fucking hell. Yeah. That's scary. It's pretty cool how um like Usyk, mm, they both all Klitsch, both Klitsch brothers and uh, Lomachenko have gone back. I, res- mm. I respect that. You can yeah. tell they aren't afraid to fight anybody because <laughs> they're going they're going <laughs> to war. war. Like most yeah. people would be like most fighters would probably be like, oh, man, I've got a career, man. I've got, I've got yeah, a fight, man. Yeah, yeah. They don't give a fuck. It's reminiscent of like back in World War Two. Like there was most fighters went and fought in the war mm-hmm. and f- fought boxing at the same time that's cool like um it was joe lewis mm-hmm. he fought he was the heavyweight champ he reigned for like 20 years but in between that he just went and fought in the war <laughs> that's the fucking side quest <laughs> he legit, <laughs> legit there was um his, his most like notable fight was um against like max schmeling He's like a German guy. Schmilling, what the fucking shit. <laughs> and he was essentially used by Hitler as like propaganda. Like he was oh like, God. like Schmilling wasn't a Nazi. He didn't support the Nazis, but Hitler used him on the world stage. To like, this is the German race. This is the Aryan mm. race. This is, you know, prime athlete. And he beat um, Joe Lewis. I think he knocked him out in the 13th round and had a rematch. And uh, World War II hadn't yet started and yet kicked off before the rematch. And, uh, but it was, it was, it was like, on the verge and obviously everyone was like on edge and uh on, on like the day of the fight uh the president at the time was it R- roosevelt? Roosevelt? roosevelt roosevelt yeah Teddy yeah roosevelt. yeah, yeah. he he phoned up joe lewis on the night of the night of the fight before he went and fought max schmeling as you know hitler's promoting him and everything and said like you have to you have to beat him and you can imagine that pressure. Fucking the, hell. You know, it was on the brink of World War Two. Hitler's like invading every f- fucking country in Europe. And like the president phone Joe was like, you have to, you have to like beat this guy. And he knocked him out in the first Did round. Did he? Yeah. That's beast. They, they actually, because um, they were televising in Germany and, and they were, the Evelyn Nazis were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. You know, he's, yeah, he's like, they were championing a match smelling. And obviously they, they stopped the broadcast. When they got knocked out, they just cut it. Of course. Because obviously they didn't want the German people to see all that. Yeah. And actually, um, they became good friends That's cool. a- after the war. And Max Schmeling supported Joe when he came through like financial like hard- hardship and also paid for his funeral, Aww. which is really which is really cool. That's that is sweet. There's a like I, the sort of um, it's not necessarily technically related, mm-hmm. but it's like it's sort of related. Um, how much people have to pay for shit in America. And how big companies do so little to pay for actual like civilians in the sense of that healthcare is mm, f- fucked. Yeah. Um, a weird thing as well is tips in restaurants. A lot of people who work as like waiting staff get okay. paid ma- mainly through tips, tips yeah. and that's why they charge so much. Mm-hmm. Which is like huh? it's it's a weird way. It's, when you like watch online of like people kind of debating the the free healthcare thing, they're like no, well you know it's not quality healthcare and like. They they see they kind of defend paying yeah how? it's just like how are you it's like that? it's like what healthcare should be a a right not a privilege mm-hmm. it's like can you imagine like you're you're already, you're in poverty and then like your son breaks his arm that's th- hundreds of thousands of pounds like, and they they charge a lot as well yeah. don't they have you seen the meme and it's like uh uh. Uh, hospitals after someone takes a five minute ride in the ambulance mm-hmm. and it's like the two guys like lying, lying, on, the, lying, yeah. on, lying on the couch it's so it, like it's when you see people who are like in critical states and they're like don't call an ambulance yeah, yeah. don't call because they can't afford it can you imagine being that like not only having to think right I need to survive through this please I can't, don't I cripple can't, me I can't afford this yeah. 
surely that would be on your mind like a lot of, especially if you can't afford it you don't have insurance surely that would be on your mind like 24 yeah, 7 I like i wouldn't I'm get, like i'm gonna get like hurt today like yeah i'd be terrified especially like doing like a physical challenge or something like you wouldn't want to no i wouldn't do it. you I wouldn't would... want to injure yourself to the point where you would have to go to the hospital because it's like i could avoid paying thousands of pounds do dollars mm -hmm. it's like you wouldn't you wouldn't do that surely that would be like an anxiety constantly in your mind would you um train yeah i don't know if i could it's like yes because say if someone starts on me then i don't want to get beaten up and then have to go pay yeah, that would yeah. be fucked up but at the same time it's an, an added risk yeah it's a tricky one because it's balancing it especially if you're doing like sparring or something because like you, you the chance of you getting hurt in sparring is much higher than like just training in the gym like lifting weights yeah. like you can still you can still, yeah, you can still injure yourself yeah. in, in, in in the gym but yeah, in sparring, I'd definitely probably be a way more cautious because like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do hard sparring. Because like if, if I get like a concussion or like if I like 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 sprain a wrist or something, and you got to go to the hospital for that, then like you even just for, like a ten minute checkup and they're like, right, yeah. that'd be ten grand. Ten grand. Like what, why? Why, Come on, bro. Why would you get, Why would you get ten ten grand for a ten minute checkup? Like, that's probably a realistic thing as well, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. like probably. doctors, you probably pay like. I'm just doctor pick doctor get paid like I feel like pretty much I don't know like say I'll Google to be to be fair NHS pay isn't shit. isn't very good no shit the, so would it be would it be better in America I mean, yeah. would it surely be better in America wouldn't it's it? all private healthcare yeah, private yeah. healthcare in the UK get paid a lot yeah yeah, yeah. it's like why um, it was so annoying during COVID and shit um, how the doctors did uh, not doctors how the government did everything for the NHS except give them a pay rise they were like clap on the street did you yeah. ever clap. Like once, pussy. And it, pussy. It, 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 it did it once, and it was just kind of like, why am I doing this? Like, I can't be asked. Like, I can't be asked. But like, what's the point? Yeah, it's not actually helping. There's no, there was no like doctors walking about the street like wanting to be paraded. In the um, in America, um, it's two hundred ninety four thousand dollars a year. A year, which was probably like. Is that just like, a, like a, a GP, like a general practitioner? Um, as a doctor, so it's probably about what like a, I don't know, like two hundred grand a year. It'll go up when you become like a consultant as well. Uh, yeah, because yeah. when you're a consultant, like that's when you can charge the big bucks. Because that's that's a, that's the aim of a lot of doctors is like, do like ten, twenty years mm -hmm. like in the hospital, like in the NHS, and then privatize and go to a consultancy, and then that's when they can really like really bring in the cash. Oh my god, orthopedics, five hundred eleven thousand um, dollars a year. Oh, oh. Plastic surgery, four hundred seventy nine thousand. Cardiology yeah, plastic surgery is like, I imagine that's a big industry. It's not, it's, it is a big industry, but you can charge like, like a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. It's scary.